Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. Let's see what's happening for Gemini. All right. The Two of Cups. Okay, so you could be in a relationship or now you're seeking some one-on-one -on -one relationship or at least this is how you're coming off to a particular person or cancer could be coming off this way to you. They want a one-on-one -on -one connection. They want forgiveness also. They feel like it's a good union. There's a friendship um, and then there's love, which for some people equals marriage. So maybe they want to marry you. The Three of Wands, it's like somebody's going to take the lead here in this relationship, you know, um, yeah someone's going to take the lead here in this relationship somebody wants you to reach out or you want someone else to reach out like look take the lead and reach out to me so we can recreate and you know redo so that you know i could have forgiveness yeah the ace of wands so something can start back up again the energy the love the sex Eight of Swords, Gemini, you could be stuck in your head, your mind about this, you know, overthinking something, going over and over how much you like or love someone, Ace of Cups, or how somebody was valuable, or the, how the love was offset. Maybe there was someone who had more love for you than you had for them. It was kind of friend or friendship or friend-like vibes, but you do see the good in them, the, the divinity, the spirit. Uh, they have a good spirit. Yeah, the hangman, the relationship could be over. Or at a, you know, at a stuck place right now. Or you're in a place of purgatory having to really think about the part that you played in this relationship. Maybe how you dropped the, the ball. Could be you. Could be that someone else dropped the ball. Someone kept secrets. There was a, You had to do a lot to be in this relationship. Or someone did a lot to be with you. Or they made so many different sacrifices and concessions just to be with you. The six of pentacles, somebody also could be in need here. The power dynamic has shifted. One, one, it used to be that one person had the power in this relationship. You know, if they withdrew, then the other person came running. If they didn't call, the other person called. If they didn't give, the other person was throwing themselves at, you know. And now it's shifted to where now the person who was chasing and willing to do anything could have just kind of gone the other way. And now... We have the uh, other energy ready to do whatever, to win it back. We also have somebody in need, just needing money, needing opportunity, needing love or devotion, definitely in need of money or something that will um, help them prosper. The five of wands, somebody's willing to do anything for it or say anything to get, you know, affection, devotion, or somebody's uh, power. Could be you, uh, Gemini, Gemini man, emperor showing up. Somebody keeps a lot of options, a lot of irons in the fire because, you know, it just lends to their lifestyle in terms of this could be um, a taker. This is not a giver. This is somebody who survives, you know, survives in relationships. Some people are not coming into relationships in the energy of love, but they're coming into the relationship in the energy of survival because that's what their life has been about. So if that's what their life has been about. That's what the relationship will be about. And to survive, you need, you know, certain things, right? Air, food, water. Those are the things you need to survive. But also, this after this person gets the things they need to survive, they start to thrive. You know, they want to thrive off of you. They want to take from you. They want you to give. They want you to overgive, overshare. What's yours is mine, says this energy. So you may be dealing with somebody who's just a taker and they don't give to anything. Um, could be you, could be the other person, uh, you know, in your life here. So keep in mind in regards to that. Yeah, judgment could be a Scorpio. There's somebody here who wants forgiveness. They want you to, you know, judge them right now and take them back, you know, and forgive them, absolve them of everything, you know, just um, let it go, you know, let bygones be bygones. It happened. It, it's in the past. Let's move forward. 
that's how somebody is coming up let's see what the one card of advice for a gemini one card of advice for the gemini seven of swords somebody's a, a tricky little tricky little fox we got foxes here you know uh, i think the foxes they don't they might hunt and or live in packs but i think they kind of like a well the lone wolf so the wolf is more so um by themselves and this card even talks about the lone wolf there's somebody here who doesn't want to be in a relationship the seven of swords here this is somebody here who has an ulterior motive plans the plan is to be by self but if i need to deceive be deceptive to get what i need so that i can then eventually be independent then i will do I will trick the seven is about trickery and mastery and even magic. So it's like somebody's trying to create the magic or master someone else's emotions or their thoughts. I'm trying to deceive them. Um, you know, look in this hand and not in the other hand. This is somebody who lies, you know, maybe even by omission, just leaving things out. This is someone who acts as if they want the one-on-one -on -one relationship they really don't they have a lot going on behind your back their back their hand you don't see the other hand just deceptive altogether could be you could be someone else you're dealing with um it's just an energy of leave it alone it's too hot to handle okay and uh you just need to leave it alone somebody can even want a secret relationship with you they want to keep you a secret uh someone has no intention of actually being in a, a relationship also uh, this is someone masquerading so they're acting control yeah somebody wants control somebody doesn't have control sexual control also um somebody has some repressed thoughts maybe about the same sex they want to go towards that um new love it says new love gemini let new this also could even talk about rekindling we talked about that this person wants to rekindle with you Right, they want to let the fun times roll here with you. Um, the hand of destiny or divinity might jump in here and um, let you know that this person is all talk, no action. Um, that there's a lot of gossip surrounding uh, you two or or this person, um, just because their word is not their bond. If they say something, they don't really mean it. It is what it is. Um, that's the type of lackadaisical relationship or energy that, that they have about them. It just, it just is what it is with them. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy Ella coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.